Hey, hey everybody, this is Ben from Landshark Gaming. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to SnowRunner. This is my first video in this uh, game. I did buy it this week and I started playing it and I'm having a lot of fun. And I'd like to share a quick tip with you. You know, as a content creator, um, I personally like to take screenshots and screen captures um, of my game to either share on Facebook, my Discord channel, or to even use as thumbnails. And I ran into a quick problem trying to take screen captures in SnowRunner. I couldn't find a way to do it in game. Um, I did some research and uh, it turns out that uh, there's no in-game process to take screen captures. And you know, I, uh, I looked around the internet and some forums and some other discords and uh, people were just using print screen, uh, the default one is print screen or some other uh, interesting alternative like taking a picture of their desktop monitor with their phone. For the love of God, if you uh, have a PC and you're taking a picture of your desktop with your cell phone and then posting it online, please don't do it. Use this tip that I'm using. Um, I'm using a program called Lightshot, and I feel like it uh, is a good alternative to taking screen captures and uh, not using your cell phone. So Lightshot is a free program that you can download for PC. I'll put a link in the description below. But basically, it takes over your computer's print screen function. Right, so let's say we're taking, we're climbing up this uh, this wall here, right? And we want to take a good picture, a nice little screenshot of our scout truck here. So if light shot is installed, all you have to do is hit your print screen button for it to actually work. So I'm going to hit the print screen button, and uh, you kind of see that uh, the game pauses and the monitor kind of darkens down. And uh, if you take a look at the cursor, it says um, select area. So basically, all you're going to do is kind of um, bring your cursor over here click the left mouse button and kind of drag where you want to actually capture the image and all I want to do is capture the image here um, of the uh, scout truck that I'm using here so I'm going to do that release the left mouse button if you take a look here um, you've got a couple options so just off the bat I can either save it to my hard drive I can copy it to my clipboard so I can paste it into like discord or Facebook I can print it if I want to that really sure if I really want to and then there are three different platforms I can use to share it on the cloud and if you take a look over here on the right side I can edit it um, I can draw lines I can draw straight lines uh, I can draw arrows thick lines there I can draw squares um, and then I can also add text test text there you go if I really want to but that looks like a really crappy uh, screenshot and I don't want to do that so um, I'll just take all that stuff out so um, I got the area that I want to select you can see the uh, dimensions there and I'm gonna hit the save button and what that does is it will pop up this little screen here and uh, you can tell that there's a light shot folder in my documents and it's gonna save as screenshot 30 so and then I know that's going to be in my documents folder so if I tab over here to my documents folder screenshot number 30 there it is wonderful and uh, what's really great about this program is it saves into a location that's easy to find instead of buried like it uh, like Steam has it um, where you have to kind of search for it and all this other stuff but luckily that goes uh, directly into uh, uh, a folder like my documents you can actually save the path when you install um, light shot all right now I got my scout truck up on this little rock here and I want to kind of take a picture of the entire scene uh, to get that house and the uh, the windmill and the rock all in one all right and I want to take a picture now if I go over here and hit print screen again with light shot it again pauses the game it darkens out the screen and uh, you still have this little selector tool hit escape to get out so you can either come up to here at the top left corner of the screen or whatever corner and click and drag and save that way like this but that's too many mouse button clicks and buttons to push for me so um, if you actually hit shift print screen it just took a screenshot and I'll show you that right now so there's the first one I did with the um, screen drag but the, this 32 one that is just the shift print uh, the shift print screen so it's just like immediately say what I have I don't want to do a dialogue or I don't want to open up the uh, tool I don't want to do any editing I just want a good screen capture and there it is 
So as a content creator, I like to take uh, glamour shots, and sometimes these heads-up displays get in my way, like the fuel consumption, the, ha the, uh, the gearbox over here on the right. So um, I like to actually hide my HUD or my HUD, and one way you can do that is if you hit Escape, go to Settings, go to HUD, Hide HUD, click it to Off, and then hit Escape two more times, and you can tell that pretty much everything's gone away except for this little KSIVA, whatever that is. That's all there. Uh, that's Everything else is gone except for that. So if I hit Shift, print screen again, and I go over here to my light shot folder you can tell that I don't have any heads-up display and it's a great large screen capture I can use it for a thumbnail if I want to and it's very useful and I bring the head the heads-up display back just hit escape go to settings um, go back over to HUD and then uh, hide HUD off hide HUD off there we go and then hit escape twice and then you're back in the screen back into the game and your heads up displays back so well guys that's gonna do it for this video I hope you really enjoyed this little tip please make sure that you uh, subscribe uh, leave a comment if this is a good option for you and uh, make sure you like the video if you did